My name is Chris. I was born in Toronto, Canada, and my dad is from Hungary and my mom is from Scotland. And they both moved to Canada at some point in their lives and met there and I was born there. Because I lived in Canada, I also um, learned French. I was also in a French-only program at school for a while. Yeah, and then just from living in German-speaking countries, I also like speak a basic level of German, not, not super well either. Um, and then other things that I've just been interested in, I, I learned a bit of Russian just by myself and also from living in China, I picked up a bit of Chinese. If you always stick to European languages, which have a lot of things in common, then probably the first one that you learn outside of this box is more challenging because I started learning Hungarian. Yeah, but then of course Chinese is completely different. You think you know language because you speak a few and then there's something that's just completely different, right? My girlfriend is Polish and I don't speak Polish. I speak a tiny bit of Russian and I'm just good at making connections and stuff like this. I understand Spanish kind of at the level of like people who have traveled in Spain or in, in other Spanish-speaking countries. Sometimes it helps with Italian. That's another case where you think, or at least for me, I think I know more Italian than I actually know. It, there's some story that I, I'm not sure about the details, but it's like, so people from France make fun of it because it sounds so different. Um, but then people in Quebec say that actually there's a, there was a king at some point from France who came to visit Quebec, and this was like a few hundred years ago, and he said that like, oh, it sounds so much more similar to like what he knows as the old formal French, something like this. But I think that actually it's kind of the wrong way to think about how languages evolve. There's no such thing as like one group of people like in isolation not evolving, right? They'll just evolve in a different way over time. Um, and the rate of evolution could maybe be slower if there's less exchange with other groups. But in the end, like in France went its own way and French in Quebec went a different way. Um, and now there are differences, although like ultimately the same language. If you have trouble understanding the accent, then after a few days of being there, you probably won't have this difficulty anymore. Um, then you just need to learn a bit of different vocabulary. And a lot of it comes down to avoiding anglicisms. In France, it's very common to call parking, parking, but in Quebec, they wouldn't say this, it's called stationnement, um, and that's yeah the more official word for it. It's a known story, it actually became quite popular in Quebec and in Canada in general. Um, the way that the law works in Quebec is that you're allowed to advertise things in another language other than French, but it, but it always has to be a certain percent smaller uh, if it's written down, um, but it, and it has to exist in French primarily. Uh, so it was a known headline for a while that an Italian restaurant in Montreal, I think, was fined by the Quebec office of the French language um, because they they called their dish pasta, which is not the French word. They they just assumed that the that they could use the Italian word since it's it's known all over the world, uh, but it turns out that they can't. So, so they were fined because instead of saying pat, or in Quebec accent, I guess it's pot, uh, they said pasta. French in Quebec is more informal, so I think in common daily situations, people will just default to using casual grammar with you, uh, tu instead of vous, which is not the case in France. Tu is singular, you, but vous is plural, but it's also used for formal. I guess it's like, I think it's similar in Spanish. You have some like differences depending on like which which uh, regional Spanish you speak, right? But like in Spain, you, there's a different word for the formal you, and in South America, it's different as well, right?